In topic 1-3, we'll be solving multi-step equations. So you learned solving in Algebra 1 and continued with it in Geometry. When you solve, you need to simplify each side first by distributing and combining like terms. If there's variables on both sides, you need to undo one of the variables first. So here, if we look at example number 1, we're going to simplify and then solve. So if I look at each side, the left side, negative 12, is already simplified. But on the right side, we can combine like terms. So I can combine 15 minus 5 to get 10. And 4x minus 6x is negative 2x. Now that I've made it smaller, I can look at my variable. Right now, the x is stuck to negative 2. So I can't get rid of the negative 2 yet. So when I start solving, the first thing I have to undo is that 10 because I'm getting stuff away from my x. So the opposite of positive 10 would be to subtract or negative 10. Remember what you do to one side, you do to another. Negative 12 minus 10 is negative 22. And on the right side, we're left with negative 2x. And then here at the very end, they're multiplying negative 2 times x. The opposite of multiplying negative 2 would be to divide negative 2. So negative 22 divided by negative 22 is 11. And now x is by itself. So our solution is 11 for x. If we look at question 2, this one has parentheses. So we're going to have to distribute first. So 3 times 2a is 6a, and 3 times 3 is positive 9. Now I'm going to distribute the negative 4. Negative 4 times 3a is negative 12a, and negative 4 times negative 6 is positive 24. Now before I start to solve, I want to make it smaller. I want to simplify. So on the left side, 6a can be combined with minus 12a. 6a minus 12a is negative 6a. And then 9 plus 24 is positive 33. And we're left with equals 15. So now I can look at my variable. Right now, a is stuck to negative 6. So I can't get rid of the negative 6 yet. So I'm going to have to undo the plus 33. The opposite of plus 33 is minus 33. And what you do to one side, you do to another. So here we're left with negative 6a. And on the right side, we can do 15 minus 33. That equals negative 18. And at the very end, remember we're solving for a. Right now they're multiplying a by negative 6. The opposite of multiplying negative 6 would be to divide by negative 6. So a is equal to negative 18 divided by negative 6, which is positive 3. These next examples are going to have variables on both sides. So if we look at example 3, we don't have to distribute because there's not parentheses. And if you look at both sides, they're already simplified. Because on the left, you can't combine negative 13 and 7 because one has an x and one doesn't. Same thing on the right. So I'm going to look at my variables. I have a 7x here and a negative 3x here. When there are variables on both sides, you want to undo one of them. It doesn't matter which one, but I usually undo the smaller one. So negative 3 is smaller. The opposite of negative 3x would be positive or plus 3x. And whenever you're undoing, whatever you do to one side, you do to the other. So on the left, I have negative 13. 7x plus 3x is positive 10x. And on the right, we're left with negative 33. So now if I look at my variable, my x is stuck to my 10. So on that left side... I can't get rid of the 10 yet. I'm going to get rid of the negative 13. The opposite of negative 13 is positive or plus 13. 
And what you do to one side, you do to the other. So I'm left with positive 10x equals negative 20. And at the very end, they're multiplying 10 by x. The opposite of multiplying 10 would be to divide by 10. So my answer for x is negative 20 divided by 10 or negative 2. The last problem here is just going to combine everything we did together. So you can notice right now that it has a lot of terms. Anytime there's parentheses, you want to distribute. So let's start by distributing. 2 times 3x is 6x. And 2 times negative 5 is negative 10. I'm going to bring down the plus 4x minus 6 equals 2 minus 3x minus 10. Now, I'm going to simplify both sides, so I need to make them smaller before we solve. So on this side, I can combine 6x plus 4x, and that's 10x. And then we can combine negative 10 and negative 6 to get negative 16. On the right side, we can combine 2 with negative 10 to get negative 8. And the minus 3x stays the same. So notice when you're combining, you're only doing it one side at a time. Don't combine both sides together. Now that it's small, I'm going to look at my variables. Here I have a 10x, and here I have a negative 3x. Remember, when you have variables on both sides, you want to undo one of them. So I usually undo the smaller one. So I'm going to undo negative 3x, the opposite of negative 3x would be positive or plus 3x. And when you undo what you do to one side, you do to the other. So here, 10 plus 3 is 13x minus 16. And on the other side, I'm left with negative 8. Now if we look at our variable, we have 13x stuck together. So I can't get rid of the 13 yet. I'm going to get rid of the minus 16 by doing plus 16. So we get 13x equals negative 8 plus 16 is 8. And on the last step, to get x by itself, right now they're multiplying 13. The opposite would be to divide 13. 8 cannot be divided by 13 to get a whole number. So we're just going to leave our answer as a fraction. So x equals 8 over 13.